So since our onsen was really close to uh, like a little ski resort, we decided to go trekking. And uh, along the trek, you can see different animal footprints and different signs of life. And it was really cool just to get outside. It's, the weather was really good too. Go Edo Village was kind of cool. You get to uh, as you walk in, you can kind of feel the old old style of living, and you can meet the townspeople, and they're really friendly. And then we went to uh, dress up in our kimono and you can choose the different character that you want. I chose the ronin. So as I'm walking around town, people treat me like a ronin. And uh, one guy I, I encountered, we ended up doing a little uh, impromptu sword fight in the middle of the street. So that was really cool. And we also ate some soba and tempura. So overall, it's a really cool place to go if you just want to step back in time. So we took a walk up to Futarasan Jinja and uh, really was impacted by the tree. You can see like the, the huge trees. It's a great place to just take a walk. Kanaya Hotel. And this place really has some connections to other, other countries and foreign countries. It was really a great tour we had by one of the guides there. And uh, he took us around the rooms and even like Einstein and other people have stayed there, really famous people. So it's a pretty amazing place to visit. So if you're looking for a place to go that's pretty close to Tokyo, uh, I really suggest Nikko. It's got a lot of variety of places to go, a lot of history, and some good nature to take in. So please, come to Nikko.